My name is Michael Roller. I'm the coach for the Bixby Black Sox. Uh, this is a nine-year-old baseball team that has, uh, has won a pretty unique uh, opportunity to go to what they call the Elite 32. The Elite 32 is a, a tournament you have to qualify for and this is all new information to me. I learned this through the process but, uh, but you have to qualify for the tournament and uh, and these little group of uh, kids have done something pretty special and really um, in today's environment more and more sports are are specializing kids are specializing and uh, and baseball clubs are popping up across the country kind of starts in california texas florida and it just kind of moves inward to the midwest but but all these clubs will have and, and there's clubs here in tulsa as well but they will have kids from all over the area. I mean, 50 mile radius, north, east, south, west, sometimes further. And, um, and they'll come together and they'll take the top 10 or 11 kids and end up forming like elite baseball teams. Well, this little group, uh, so, so to get a group of kids from Jinx, a group of kids from one town is kind of unique and that's kind of what we have. We have nine of our 11 players are from Bixby and have been together for quite a long time and um, and we decided to test ourselves so here locally we get we have a lovely park at Bentley Park and teams come in from all over the country for that uh, kind of tri-state area really and uh, and we'd go play our tournament and we would do really well against our age so um, so I ended up pushing them into just like we've always done if we win a tournament or something I'll always push them up to the next stage level just to kind of let them learn something. I think they learn a lot from, from defeat as well as success. So we'll put them up at age and those kids are a little bit bigger, stronger, faster. And, um, and we'll compete as hard as we can and, and don't win those tournaments sometimes, but we'll upset a couple of teams. And, and so we were doing pretty good in those. So we decided we would go try our luck in a couple of large major events and so in baseball it's like a, a rec league double a triple a major well we got bumped from double a to triple a from triple a to major so we're we're a nine major team but um <clears throat> we went down to oklahoma texas shootout and we played some of these club teams that have uh, the team that we played in the finals had 17 teams in their club and and we ended up going toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with them and beat several of the club teams there in Dallas and ended up getting second in that tournament, which was a phenomenal um, uh, quest and, and accomplishment. And then we ended up going to Kansas City, and that was kind of the two out-of-state uh, tournaments we were going to do. And in the Kansas City tournament, we just really entered it um, – really just for the competition we didn't I, I didn't really even look at, at what it meant to win the tournament or what it meant to uh, to do to go to the next level we entered it just because they they told me that there were going to be at least 20 to 30 of the elite level teams in the in the entire region at this tournament so all of our parents went up there we all seemed to get along pretty good and took a little mini vacation and did a three-day tournament up in Kansas City over Memorial Day and lo and behold uh, the little Bixby Black Sox team ended up uh, ended up winning the tournament we went 7-0 and won the entire tournament and um, and afterwards uh, the director comes up to me and he has like two pamphlets and he said do you guys want to go to Orlando or California and I looked at him and I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, you guys, you want $1,000 travel money to go to this tournament and uh, and we'll pay our, your entry into the tournament and, and you get to choose. And they're like, you know, this is the the elite of the elite. So uh, he said, this is pretty much what all teams strive for. So at that time, I actually, I, I told him, hey, keep your pamphlet. We're not real sure what we're doing. So we normally don't play uh, baseball in July. I usually let that be family time and let everybody have a good time before football and all that. And um, so anyway, so I went back and I talked to my parents and, and all of them said, I, t I told them if nine of the 11 kids want to go play in the tournament, then we'll go play in the tournament in California. And if they don't, 
if eight does, then um, then I would not go play in the tournament, and I'll be fine uh, fishing July second or something, you know. So um, so everybody, nine of them ended up deciding to do it, which meant that we needed to pick up one player. Um, because you really want to have at least one kid that substitute in case someone gets a headache, gets hurt, twists an ankle, whatever. So um, I talked to one of my buddies, Mike Daniel. He's a, he lives in Bixby. He's a Hall of Fame baseball player at, at OSU. And I told him about our, our opportunity. And he said, uh, hey, Roller, you have to do this. He was like, you, you, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He's like you have to do this for your kids. They might not ever get this opportunity again. So um, with that being said, I, I, t I value his opinion. He's been in baseball his whole life. He's been coaching it uh, ever since he's been out of uh, high school and college, you know. So so whenever he told me that he, ha he has strived for doing that and has not gotten there, that we really need to take advantage of it. And so uh, so I did it, and I talked to another guy who, who had played in the major leagues, and he told me, that out of all his youth level baseball, playing in the highest tournaments all over the country, that this was the one that he remembered and that this was the one that he said, hey, I played in that tournament. Even so, before you mentioned going out of town, I thought you must have an amazing number of devoted parents. We do, we do. I mean, we play, you know, it, really for all youth level uh, sports and baseball now, that it, it becomes their hobby. You know, that's the best way to explain it is me and my buddies on the team, thank goodness I have good friends around me, but we don't go play golf together a whole lot. We don't go fishing anymore a whole lot. You know, we kind of spend time with our families and and play baseball, you know, and, and it's not extreme though. It, you'd think it takes up a whole lot of time. We do a pretty good job of setting a schedule at the beginning of the year and following it. So on certain weekends, you know, three out of four weekends, you know, every parent on the team will know that they have these two weekends off and and i encourage them to not do baseball put your gloves down put your bats down just let the kids get out and just be kids don't don't no baseball i want them to completely take it off so like after the kansas city trip uh, that was one of the rules we had was hey if we play a big tournament like this it's demanding the next week we're not having practice we're not doing any any type of baseball I want you to go take the kids and watch a movie, go fish, and go do something besides baseball. And I think that keeps them fresh. You know, I mean, they're still nine-year-old kids. So you really, if you ask them to push themselves quite a bit, then you need to back off and let them go have a little bit of time to be kids again and, and just go play. And you've got some fundraisers coming up. And we, we do have some fundraisers. We have a fundraiser at Forest Ridge, uh, July, uh, June 28th. Saturday night, and uh, that's a little poker event we're doing, uh, adult poker event that will be a fun, fun thing, and uh, and it's always been a success. But they're they're just a blast. You get together with a bunch of friends, and and that, and then uh, we have a, um, and then we have a a website um, at www.gofundme.com uh, forward slash nine v tk 6 g so uh, and I'll give you that afterwards but um, you can get on there click on it and it will uh, and it's a pretty neat deal just you can donate anonymously or donate anything some people get on there and donate 10 20 bucks and it's been uh, we've raised 1500 bucks doing that so that's been a real successful deal too so but yeah, really, uh, the biggest thing about the California tournament, though, is uh, oh, one other deal is the tenth kid we picked up was Mike Gundy's kid. So we get to go out. Here I am wearing an OU hat, but uh, we get to go out and spend a week with Mike Gundy and, and his family. And uh, Mike Daniel, the guy I told you about, he's he's friends with Mike Gundy, so uh, that ended up being good. But uh, they they have state tournament this weekend. They're twenty four and three for the year at their age group so they'll play in Edmond this weekend and then we'll have a little break until we go to uh, go to the World Series out in uh, July 15th through 19th out in uh, West Covina California so great all right thank you